This is Real Ghost Stories Online. It's one thing when we as adults experience something scary. Maybe a ghost, maybe something even darker. But it's, it's one thing when it's focusing its attention on us, the adults. It's a whole other thing when it starts focusing its intention and even telling you its intention. To keep a better eye on your children. That is, it wants to keep a better eye on your children and wants to go interact with them. So you better watch out. What do you do? How do you stop something like that from happening? That's what... One father has the dilemma of in our next story. Take a listen. When I was about five or six years old, My sisters and I used to share a room. Most nights, my older sister and I would see two distinct figures. She would see a lady in white standing in the doorway directly in front of my bed. I would see a man with red eyes, or at least I thought it was a man, as all I could see were red eyes. Here, my sister could see the lady. She never said or spoke of her. She just stood there getting closer every night. While I, on the other hand would see a pair of bright red eyes staring at me from the closet. A disembodied masculine voice would whisper, JJ, come to the closet and play, over and over. Sometimes my older sister and I would jump in each other's beds and hide under the blankets until morning. This was going on for months until my dad decided to get the house blessed again. We never saw them after that. I'm 24 now. My wife and I recently had a baby. I've been having weird dreams recently. They'd always start with me standing in my son's room, staring at the closet, and the familiar set of red eyes stare back at me. The most recent dream, he actually spoke. His voice, a lot deeper and booming than I remember. You didn't come play with me, but your son may be the one to play. He said this before I woke up. I called my dad and told him about the whole thing. He told me he remembers me telling him about that man years before, but then, just then, he went silent for about five minutes. When he spoke again, he recounted seeing the same figure as a child. He told me he remembered having the same dream after I was born. I've blessed my house twice already, but I can only protect my son so much. I just hope, I really hope, that he doesn't go play in the closet. Since my separation from the Navy three years ago now, I've been working part-time doing security at the local bars and clubs. I recently just finished my last two days, thankfully because I now have more time to spend with my five-month-old son and wife without feeling drained from working six to seven days a week. Don't ask how I did it, I don't know. A few months back, I was working at one of the aforementioned local bars. So happened to be one of my more favorable spots to work. Good food, decent pay, all around amazing people. There are hardly any fights, and my job mostly consists of escorting, throwing people out when they're too blitzed, or kicking out sailors after curfew. So, you get was having a good time chatting with drunken customers. Then my wife calls me, and I think that's weird. I thought it's 2 a.m. I'm not going to lie. I got a little anxious. I mean, we do have a freshly buttered baby in the house, so I'm sure you can understand. She told me she couldn't sleep because of a nightmare. I finally let my breath go. I told her I couldn't talk too much on the clock, so I told her to message me. We began texting each other, and I asked about her nightmare. I wish I hadn't. 
She began to describe the reoccurring nightmare beginning with her sleeping alone in our room. She wakes up to a man sitting on our bed. Frozen in fear, she can't say anything, but he begins to speak. You know, for a long time I've been watching you, and I want your baby. When he finally turns to her, she can only make out a pair of red eyes. I then asked what his voice sounded like. And she said his voice was so deep, it didn't sound like something that could come from a human. She continued to tell me the rest. He then walks into my son's room, grabs him, and then disappears. He's been having that dream around the same time that I was having mine. It's been months since either of us have dreamt about him, although recently my closets now have a very heavy and dark feeling to this day. Like he's just waiting for that day to strike. Fast forward to now, we introduced the new year. Things were feeling pretty light until two nights ago. My wife began talking in her sleep at around 3 a.m. Normally, I don't wake up until 4, as that's when my son decides to be an ass and want to play with me. She kept saying, no, no, don't take him, he's not yours. I began feeling that sense of dread and malice from my dreams about the red-eyed man in the closet, same as when I was... You and still the same now. I jumped up, scaring my wife, running to my son's room, only to find the room a lot darker than usual, even with the blinds open and his nightlight on. The worst part, the absolute thing that filled me with fear, rage, and confusion, was that his closet was wide open. A five-month-old infant cannot climb out of their crib and open two heavy fucking doors. After saying that, I told my wife to pack her bag at least for a day. They're currently staying at my in-law's house in the countryside. Being a very traditional Japanese family, I know that they have a lot of things that they can do and protective barriers to put around the house. I've been home alone for two days and two nights. I do feel that feeling of being watched at times, yet I try to apply logic. First, being a veteran and all, but sometimes logic really cannot make sense for the things I go, in my, go on in my house. I have a priest and a shaman coming to my home today. I hope that works for now. This is Real Ghost Stories Online. Want a commercial-free experience of the show with access to the world's largest audio archive of ghost stories? Sign up at Apple Podcast right now and try it for three days free. Ghostpodcast.com or patreon.com slash real ghost stories.